Good evening, Fort Thomas community, and thank you for tuning in. I uh, wanted to give you a state update and then talk a little bit about what's going on in the district. First of all, uh, we just heard from Governor Bashir and a couple of things we need to make sure that you know. Number one, please complete your census online. You might not realize this, but the amount of funding that we get as a community or per zip code is directly related to how many people are in each area. And if we don't fill out our census, then the federal government doesn't know this. And you know, we're in kind of a strange year this year because typically there are census workers who will walk to your house if you haven't filled it out and said, please just give me that information. And of course, we're not doing that right now. So we want Fort Thomas and Campbell County to be the number one county in the state. And so please just go to the website and complete that so that we make sure that everyone is counted. Also, Governor Bashir today extended some of the openings that we're having. So that was a pretty exciting uh, press conference. So now we know there are new dates added for opening things such as restaurants, campgrounds, movie theaters, and sports camps. And we know that this is really important to you as you plan your summer. Now, we have full faith in the Fort Thomas community that everyone is going to practice proper social distancing, wearing masks, all the things that you need to do. And we've been seeing that a lot. We've had a few deliveries the last couple of days. First of all, as we continue to celebrate our seniors and more word from Mr. Potasso on that very soon, we want to thank the junior class uh, at Highlands High School for sponsoring signs for our seniors. And here are a few pictures of some of those signs in the yards that the junior class sponsored and our teachers, thank you so much for bringing those. You might notice the so-called chemistry queens, uh, Mrs. Kemp, Epperson and Amon, who have gone out and made sure that they spread some love and cheer at the same time as giving those signs. I want to remind you about Adopt a Senior. So if you know of a senior who is not on the Adopt a Senior list, could you please, you could personally email me, give me that information. We will reach out because we want every single student to be counted. In addition, we're celebrating our Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. And it was really exciting today to go around and deliver some of our windbreakers that we're giving this year for Staff Appreciation Week. Very cool to see everybody at home. Uh, our bus drivers are delivering these and some other people are delivering them and we just wanna tell you how much we appreciate you. Finally this evening, uh, as we give a highlight and a showcase of our assistant principals, we have Mr. Josh Feldman today, who is assistant principal at Highlands Middle School. Hi, I wanted to take this opportunity to say hi to our folks out there, parents, students, the community. We really miss seeing everyone at school each day. The new NTI is a challenge. It's a challenge for all of us, but I've been so impressed at how all of our staff and students and families in the community have come together to help work through these obstacles that we have been uh, given. So I guess, you know, one of the things I want to talk about was a little bit about what goes on behind the scenes of NTI for uh, an assistant principal. You know, our main role each day is to try to support the staff and students at Highlands Middle School, and that hasn't changed. It just looks a little bit different. It may not be in the building, but as we know, Highlands and all of our great schools aren't about walls and ceilings. It's about the community that we create. So how do we support our community? Well, we support our students and staff each day, checking to make sure if they uh, have all the different tools necessary to them. I've made a lot of phone calls, countless emails, just reaching out to students through Schoology, talking to them about, you know, how can we better support you? What challenges are you facing in your classes? Do you have technology questions? almost kind of serving as a go-between between our staff and our students, and then providing that additional support. Teachers will reach out about students who may be lacking during assignments or you know, maybe have missed a couple of classes for the last couple of days. So then I have a chance to reach out. I've talked to countless parents over the last week or two about where their students are, how we can provide additional support for them. So I think that's really the biggest thing for us as an assistant principal in my case is really just providing that support 
uh, letting the, our students and teachers know that they're not out there on the island. I think that's one of the biggest challenges we face is understanding that right now we all sometimes feel on an island. You know, we're, we're in our own homes, our, our own work areas, and, and sometimes that can become uh, very burdening. Or am I by myself? You know, where is that support? So I think we, as assistant principals, administrators, we want to provide that uh, for our students and staff, letting them know that they're not out there alone. We understand and can empathize with their situation. We want to provide as much assistance as we can. So really, as I mentioned earlier, my role has not changed too much. It's, it's stayed the same, but the location has changed. It's not that, that face-to-face contact I have every day, which is probably the favorite part of my job. And I really do miss that. I miss seeing all of our staff. I miss seeing all of our students each day in the halls, in the classrooms, in the cafeteria, and all those different places interacting with our kids because we have such great students at Highlands. So right now, trying to provide that support remotely and looking forward to the time we can get back into the classrooms, get back in the buildings, and see all of our students. Thank you. Thank you very much, and please be sure to tune in tomorrow as we continue to update you on what's going on in our state and also in Fort Thomas, making sure that you're in the know uh, and that we find a way to communicate with each other in a different way as we are all working uh, through NTI. Thank you very much.